tray. Can't wait to show you. We're gonna be doing sweet and salty. Get excited. Woo! I just wanna show you guys. We're in the cheese section. I'm getting cheesy with the cheese. And let me tell you, look at these prices, you guys. That's legal. $3.99, deal. This brie is $2.99. That's fantastic. Um, pistachios, $3.94 at Lidl. Uh, that's seriously a great price. Maureen, pet treatery. It's the new. Come on, for pets. I would totally no. entertain for my pets. No. So, we took some really basic ingredients bought at Lidl, a grocery store. Really inexpensive, and the way that we put it all together, it's gonna look like a million bucks. I can't wait to share. So the first thing we want to show you today is how to do the charcuterie board the regular way. And we have a plank tray we made down at AR Workshop, and I'm going to get started. Before we begin, we need to line the plank tray with parchment paper. This is because this is a decorative piece and we don't want the food touching directly on the wood. My first tip that I want to tell you guys is to use various heights and glassware. So I like to put tall crackers in cups like that. Um, then I have some smaller containers for olives, or cheeses, um, nuts, pickles, all kinds of fun things like that. And that is gonna start how we build out the tray. So the second tip I wanna show you guys is how to display your meats and cheeses. And I put in different types of dried sausages and cured meats. Um, I always find, I love brie, so I'll bring some brie in. Here, I'm gonna move these things around as I do this. Um, I have found a cheese that had cranberries, so it has a little bit of berry in it. Um, a white cheddar is always nice, and I bring out my forks to kind of stick in too. Um, and then, this is a goat cheese that I think could be um, fun to serve as well. And then, and while I'm putting the meats and cheeses on, I like to fill in spots where it's missing um, color-wise, so I kind of repeat around. That's another little trick for you, is that when you are filling in your tray, you want to put a you know, little meat here, a little meat here, a little cheese here, a little cheese here. And you want to mix it up and have it um, move around the tray so it gives different colors and variations. A third tip that I want to show you guys is to add in your sweets. So I like to bring in a fig jam, some honey. Then of course you're gonna bring in all of your fruits. And I have actually found some fresh figs, which I'm very excited about. Those are hard to find and they're usually only offered in the fall. Um, so I'm gonna put a few on. And then I always cut open a few figs as well. I don't cut them all though, because in case people don't wanna eat them, then there's only a few that um, you have ready for them to eat. And you can cut more as you need them. So I found dried apricots that we, I like to put on and also some dried mangoes. Um, so there's lots of variation in all of your dried fruits um, to get that sweetness. So I just fill it up here. Once I have the fruits on, I then do my nuts and crackers. So that would be another tip for you guys. I like to kind of put it all, so it's, so, it's I like, it's kind of, I don't know, um, organized chaos, if you will. So I pile some nuts right here against the ledge there. I might put some in the middle. Um, as you can see, I put some meat on skewers here and I did wrap a little bit of meat around the sticks and that's just a little trick that I like to do, mixing in meats in different places as well. So here are more nuts. I'm gonna squeeze some in over here. And you can see there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of moving things around based on color and different heights. So the final tip I want to tell you guys is that it is great to garnish with fresh herbs. You can see I had already put a few in the glass and a couple in the olives, but then what I like to do is use it as filler. So any um, parts of the tray that are still showing, I put in the herbs. It smells good. It looks so pretty. People think that you spent all this time um, decorating and making it amazing when really it's just very simple, easy things to do here. And maybe I'll put a little piece there and then I'll stick some over here. And that just kind of finishes it off. Okay guys, now I'm 
going to show you the perfect way to do a sweet board. We call this a chartreuterie. I got that name actually from Jenny Keller, one of our favorite friends out in Washington from Jenny Cookies. So what we're going to show you is how to create the beautiful display of treats for sweet lovers. So we're going to start with a protective parchment paper on our tray. We made this tray at AR Workshop and we don't want to mess it up, but this will protect the food as well. So cut it to size. I would probably actually have it go all the way, but this one was too tough. First step, I'm going to add various glassware. The first tip is to mix and match different heights of glassware, different um, colors, so you could do white ceramic as well as glassware. And here's another tip. So when I picked out my treats, they were not high enough for these little glasses, so I'm putting them in a glass of treats as well to add height. So I put in chocolate covered raisins and chocolate covered almonds. And that way you can really adjust the height if you don't have the correct glassware to give it the different dimension you like. Next, I'm going to add some fruits. So this is really important. Make sure you pick a pop of color to add into your chartreuse tray. And I use various little white ceramic ware. Just stick my little, you can always move these around you guys. It doesn't have to be perfect, just start. Tip number two, though, I want to mention is you want to make sure to choose chocolates in all forms. So number one is you want chocolate bars, you want chocolate dips, you want chocolate covered pretzels, and these are really cool little chocolate covered cookies. So don't pick the standard Hershey bars, you know, go a little bit more sophisticated. Um, that's another tip actually. Tip three is to get your cookies and your treats that are more sophisticated. You don't want Oreos, you want some more like wafers and things like that. Um, chocolate covered pretzels are really pretty. You want this to look really high end. I'll show you guys some of the wafer cookies we're gonna add in. Now I'm doing a little line of my pretzels. So again, we can put some things in little containers, but also some things directly on the tray. And we're just gonna continue filling in. Next, I'm gonna add some wafer cookies to kind of create a little barrier here. And to prop this little guy up, Some chocolates. So again, I made sure to choose some white chocolate, some dark chocolate, all different varieties because your guests will want various types. I want to repeat these. These are a really pretty statement, so I want to make sure to repeat those. So I'm going to put some back here and hopefully these will prop up nicely to create a little backdrop. Wafers here. These were from Lidl. They're really inexpensive and they're just great. As I mentioned, you want to make sure you have chocolate in all forms. So my favorite is this Nutella spread. Lidl also has their own variety and it's great because people can dip their fruits or their little cookies in it. Here's another variety of cookies from Lidl. They're almond thins. Really perfect to pair with either a fruit or your dip. And look, you guys, I may have to adjust this back, and that's okay. Just start playing with it. Once you find your balance, you'll know. Fill in the blanks here so that everything's perfectly covered and piled on. And now I love these little sticks because they just add so much dimension. I'm going to stick these guys. tip is not only with the pop of color with fruit, you want to add in a live element. So for this one, I would choose either mint or a fresh flower that pulls in some of the colors. So since I have some green grapes, I'm going to pull in some live, really pretty green flowers and just stick them in random places. But again, we're repeating throughout the whole tray. 